look at this. Oh. Oh. I have been so worried about you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What happened? My car got stranded in the snow. Oh, no, you must be frozen. Let me make you something hot to drink. No, no, no. I'm okay. I'm all right. But you didn't sit in your car all these hours, have you? No, no. These really nice people were nice. They took pity on me and they let me come inside their house. Why didn't you call? Uh... Oh, the phone was uh, was dead. Hello, sir. What, what are you doing up so late? Well, we're waiting for news about Monica. What do you mean? What's up? It's just been a dreadful night. We really wanted to have you here with us. Monica's baby's about to be born, and she's trapped out at the house. Good Lord. Well, it may not be that bad, because Alan and Rick are on their way out there in an ambulance, and maybe they've gotten there by now. What, is Monica all by herself? No, Leslie Weber and Gail Baldwin were there. They went out to visit and got stranded by the storm. Well, that's good. They're, they're doctors, then. Yes, but she's lost a lot of blood. She just had time to make a call, and the line went dead. And that report was bad. We've been worried sick. Oh, I can imagine now, Tracy. I am so sorry I couldn't be here for you. Monica was in trouble. You were stranded. I've been going crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm here now. You are. Thank God. <laughs> Boy, it's funny, your hands aren't even cold. Oh, that's that's because I was I was inside the house. Well, how'd you get home? You didn't walk, did you? No, that they finished plowing the roads. Who took you in? I had no idea their names. Uh, we didn't talk, you know. They they were in and out helping people get off the roads and everything. Uh, well, hadn't we better get going if Alan and Rick are taking Monica to the hospital? No, as a matter of fact, Bobby Spencer called earlier. Maybe that's her. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hello? Tracy, it's Bobby again. Emergency just phoned and they're bringing them in now. Oh, that's wonderful. Is there any word on Monica's condition? All I know at the moment is that they're both alive. Mother and newborn baby. Newborn baby? The baby's born? Yes, Daddy. Um, Bobby, we'll be right there, okay? Will you tell Alan that we're on our way? What about my grandson? Well, Bobby didn't know too much right now, Daddy. You better get your coat. Go ahead, dress warm. It's cold outside. What the hell with the weather. All I care about <laughs> is Monica and the baby. <laughs> and Alan, he's going to need us before the night is out. Leslie, go and sit down. You're worn out. I'm gonna go and call Lee. some tea. Leslie? Here. Thank you. Hey, were you crying? No, um, no, I, I'm just real tired. You know, you were magnificent tonight. I mean, nobody could have handled that emergency any better. Such a little baby to cause so much trouble. Oof. Worry. Wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know the power would go out just when we were getting ready to deliver? Oh, I was so glad it came back on, though, when we were leaving. I hated to leave Stella out there in that cold, dark house all alone. She was really quite a help to us, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. I got... got old Lee. At least he, he had some company during the uh, big snowstorm. I mean, Howard Lansing was there to keep him company. He was awfully relieved here. We were at the hospital. He said the streets are clear now and he'll be over as soon as he can make it. Leslie, is the tea too strong? No, no, it's fine. It's, it's lovely. 
Ash, did anybody come out of Monica's room while I was getting the tea? No. I still in there. I thought it was too soon for a report, but... Well, look, you know, we mustn't worry. I mean, there's nothing we can do about things now, anyway. No. There is nothing I can do about anything now. Leslie, are you trying to keep something from me? Keep what from you? Did Rick come out and tell you something? No. No, there's been no word. I just thought maybe you were trying to spare my feelings because you know how much I love Monica. Oh, God, no, Mom, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm just tired. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I didn't mean to frighten you. You're just worried, too, aren't you? Well, she was awfully weak there towards the end. I mean, she couldn't even help us deliver. She's got to live. She's going to live, and so is that baby, too, because Monica, she wants that baby more than anything else in the world. It's a very special baby, isn't it, Gail? I think Monica's whole life is wrapped up in that child. Gail? Leslie? Oh. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Alan's really gonna need you all. How's Monica and the baby? Well, uh, there's really no word yet. Oh, is Monica in danger? Well, you know, she lost a lot of blood. She's a little weak. She went through so much during this pregnancy. Yeah, well, everything took its toll, Mitch. Was the baby born in an ambulance? No, no, it was born at the house, and all the power went off. Oh, oh. good Lord. Yeah, the baby came before Alan and Rick could get there. You delivered the baby? Well, no, no, really, Leslie did. You have her to thank for your beautiful grandson, Edward. Leslie, we owe you so much. How can I ever thank you? We just... Uh... Did what had to be done. Leslie was really magnificent. I mean, you should have seen the inc incubator that she dreamed up. <laughs> so you delivered the baby. Well, it, you know, it was um, very tiny. I mean, being so premature, of course. How, how big? How big is he? Oh well, we we really don't know exactly. I guess uh, three or four pounds. Oh my God, that's so small. Can he make it? Well, you know, facilities uh, for taking care of preemies these days, they're, they're really terrific, aren't they, Leslie? Uh, uh, yeah, they are, and um, he was breathing on his own. Is Alan in with Monica? Uh, yes, yes, he'll, he'll probably be a while before he'll come out. He'll want to stay with her till she wakes up. And, you know, Monica was just so anxious to give him this son. Rick's with her, too, I suppose. Uh, yes, he is, Edward. That's good. I've always had great faith in that husband of yours, Leslie. She's still unconscious. She's lost a lot of blood. She's weak. You think there's enough plasma in the hospital? I'm sure there is. Look, we've had a lot of accidents in the last 24 hours because of the blizzard. Nurse, do me a favor. When you go down to the desk, please make sure that we've got enough plasma in this hospital for my wife. Yes, sir. Thank you. Don't worry about Alan. We're not dealing with a rare blood type. Thank you. I wanted to talk to you alone. Are you as worried about her as I am? I'm very concerned, Alan. She is very weak. She's got to make it. I would say she's in guarded condition. Maybe tomorrow we'll know more. I hope that her condition will stabilize. Stick with us on this one, Rick. Help us get through it. I'll be there, you know that. And the baby, will you look out for him too, please? Of course I will. I should look at him right now. Why don't you stay here with Monica and I'll... Yeah, I'd like to go with you. I think it's more important if I stay here. She needs you here if she regains consciousness. You know. Right back. Okay. Rick. Thank you. Go on. For everything.
Well, would any of you like some coffee or tea? Uh, uh, no, thank you. I'd just spill it. I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh, Rick. Is uh, she all right? Oh, Monica's lost a lot of blood. She's very weak. But she's going to be all right, isn't she? Well, she's not stable at this point, but we're hoping that after transfusion and rest tonight by tomorrow, she will be better. How's the baby? The baby's holding his own in, in the incubator, coming back in the ambulance. I haven't seen him since we've been here. I'm on my way to the preemie section right now. Would you excuse me? I want to talk to Leslie just for a second. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, Rick, Rick um, look, uh, Leslie's just worn out, and Lee's on his way to pick me up. Would you like us to drive her home? That would be a very nice idea. Thank you. Thank you. I'll tell her. Hello? You look dead tired. Why don't you let Lee and Gail drive you home? You staying? Don't you think under the circumstances I should? Yes, I think under the circumstances you probably should. I spent a very hard day today. Okay. It's been very difficult delivering Monica's child, knowing that we can't have one of our own. Let's yeah, please don't do that. Because hmm? I want to drive you home, but Alan needs me. He wants me to stay. Oh, poor Alan. Everything possible to save that child has to be done. I have to make sure that that child lives. Do you understand that? Sure. I understand more than you think I do. 